My name is uh, Yimnang Golbu, and uh, I am the Chief Executive Officer of the Palau International Coral Reef Center. Palau uh, International Coral Reef Center is a, a government-owned corporation uh, that conduct research and education uh, to help support the conservation and management of coral reefs. Palau International Coral Reef Centers have uh, two main uh, uh, facilities. The research facilities, uh, uh, and that's for uh, with uh, uh, water tables, with laboratories, indoor laboratories uh, that researchers can use to do experiment. And we also have the Palau uh, Aquarium, and this is our visitor attractions uh, to attract uh, uh, it's a place for visitors who come to Palau, come and visit uh, and learn about the different habitats we have in Palau. It is also a place where we use, uh, that we use to conduct education and outreach uh, to the students of Palau and to the people of Palau. Uh, it's a, a facility that allows us to demonstrate and to uh, uh, exhibit uh, uh, unique uh, animals and unique habitats in Palau and, and really bring students uh, and the public very close to these uh, uh, organisms. There's the research part, but there's also the education and outreach part. Uh, and both are equally important, uh, and both are used to support uh, conservation and education and outreach uh, for the people of Palau and for the visitors uh, that come to Palau. My name is Patrick Tele, and I'm president of Palau Community College. I was asked by the president of Palau, the then uh, president Kuni Wanagamura, uh, to work with a working group to help establish Palau International Coral Reef Center. Uh, they named the board of directors of uh, soon to be built uh, International Coral Reef Center. And I was selected a chair. So I served as a chair before it was built and served as a chair of the board from 19. 99 until 2013 for Palau International Coral Reef Center and it was supported by three governments the governments of uh, Palau that's hosting the center the government of uh, United States as providing technical assistance and the government of Japan that provided uh, overseas development assistance uh, that built the center from scratch the current issues are relating to global warming, ocean sea level rise, and this boils down to preservation, conservation of the pristine environments that, uh, that's currently being impacted by man-made uh, uh, doings. And Palau International Coral Reef Center is providing the science, it's providing the research, it's providing a voice to the environment, to the wetlands, to the coral reefs, to the oceans. Uh, this part of this uh, global community that has no voice, the Coral Reef Center is providing that voice through the training of people so that the people become stewards, people become uh, interested in conserving the environment, uh, so that people become interested in perpetuating and maintaining and passing the current state of the en environment to the next uh, generation. I think that's essentially what uh, Palau International Coral Reef is to Palau. And whatever we've been doing in Palau in the region uh, now have had uh, international implications. People are finding out and learning more about Palau. If a small place like Palau can do this, can conserve its environment, conserve its coral reefs, then uh, uh, stronger countries, uh, countries with more resources can certainly provide more for the maintenance of this uh, global uh, community. But our global community has become an island unto itself. It's just, it's just one of, uh, it has one plate in this place in this universe and it's one of a kind, at least for now, we know that it's one of its kind and if collectively we we do not take care of it then we we are assured of a mutual destruction hi my name is uh, tami esangra monsau jr uh, president of the republic of palau we have inherited uh, uh, an environment that was uh, pristine that was uh, rich in biodiversity 
and there is so much that needed to be learned. It is a global, a local and a global uh, initiative because the information and the research that is made uh, can be applied anywhere else. Perhaps now more than ever with the issues of climate change and global warming and sea level rise, uh, the PICRC is an institution that has to be uh, strongly supported. From the beginning it was always anticipated that the center would try to become self-sufficient, uh, generate its own revenues, uh, uh, be a must for the tourism industry here to see and appreciate. And, and we are going along that path. I, I foresee that day coming uh, where the institution will be totally self-sufficient, uh, but at the same time uh, provide a wealth of uh, research and information that would aid the future generations in, in their, deli in their uh, uh, policy deliberations. I'm, I'm very happy to note that when the center started, uh, there were all Japanese scientists or American scientists. Uh, now we can truly appreciate the fact that we have our own local Palawan scientists involved in the running and in the uh, operation of the, of the center. So it has come a long way. Uh, it has been responsible for aiding our National Congress in coming up with many good policy decisions, many laws now protecting the environment, uh, um, making sure that our marine resources are sustainable. All of those had a lot to do with research, uh, with science and the information provided by PICRC. Uh, and that's the beauty uh, and that's how it should be. Um, the environment, when it comes to the environment, uh, there's no place for politics or wrong decisions because it's always going to be very costly to try to rebuild or restore or, or even retain uh, if we don't make the right, uh, right decision. So the environment is a priceless component that needs the center to continue to be its uh, like a right arm uh, supporting it, providing the signs and the, the information that every Palawan citizen uh, should avail themselves to. And only through that kind of information can we truly appreciate and protect and sustain the environment, including the coral reefs, for the future generations to come.